They had two families, um, one lady named Miss Rosetta, and then another gentleman named Ernest T. Now, does Ernest T sound like a name from Kentucky? It is. And uh, he had that southern draw, and so did she, and we uh, helped rebuild their homes, and uh, it was amazing. So we're going to share that story with you here in three weeks from now, and uh, we look forward to that. But also, the youth group had an incredible and wonderful story to tell also on their trip in Alabama. And I hope that you were able to see the pictures throughout the week of uh, us doing different things. And so they're going to share actually the first Sunday in May. So you'll be able to hear both the uh, stories and, and you'll in, enjoy it. So how many of you think that spring is just around the corner Say amen? 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 Okay, how many of you have some flowers growing up around your house that's coming up? So it's coming, it's coming. So it's good to have you here. A couple things I want to share with you. Wednesday night, um, the missions team is having Fishers of Men supper for Grace Cafe, okay? Now, if we're having Fishers of Men, what type of food do you think we're having? We're having fish, okay? So some of Pastor Bob's fish will be thrown in there. We're going to have fried fish and baked fish. So if you like fish, please come on Wednesday night at 5 o'clock downstairs, and you'll enjoy that. The missions team is putting that all together. We're also continuing. This is the last time that you can sign up for the Seder meal, which is on the 18th here in a couple weeks. It's on your attendance card. If you have not signed up yet, you can still sign up for the last opportunity uh, for you to do that. So uh, please uh, do that. And so a lot of wonderful stuff. We have um, Easter just around the corner. Next week is Palm Sunday. Uh, please bring um, yourself. We're going to have um, the cross that's made out of the palm leaves. And so we'll enjoy that. And then Easter is coming around the corner. So we have some other announcements if you would like to share, please. Good morning. Good morning. Wanted to mention the crosswalk schedule, number two in your bulletin. Please take note of that if you're interested in participating in that. Um, the 20 minutes with God continues to happen each week if you're able to participate in that. The mother-daughter banquet will be um, happening on May the 10th at 6 o'clock, and you can still sign up for that if you are interested in participating. The United Methodist Men will be meeting on Tuesday this week at 6 o'clock. If you are a United Methodist Men, would like to come for that. The senior outing will be happening on April 11th. They're going to Mama T's for lunch at 11.30, and then following that, they're going to tour the little theater. Um, the Easter egg hunt will be happening on April 13th at 10 o'clock. If you have grandchildren or children that would like to come to that, we encourage you to be there before 10 o'clock because at 10 o'clock it's almost over. Um, and, I, and I know that Jennifer is still needing candy and little trinkets, things like that, to put into the eggs. There was one uh, clothesline card out there on the clothesline. If someone is inclined to take that and fulfill that need for a child. Also, you have your sheet in your bulletin for Easter flowers. If you are interested in contributing Easter flowers for our Easter service this year, I would encourage you to fill this out. This is the last day for this as well, because we have to get the order in so that we can get the, the flowers on time. Um, the Blue Walk will be happening soon, and there is a check-off box on your attendance sheet for that, if you are able to participate in that as well. And birthdays, the 8th, we have Sherry Berger and Maxine Eggert, the 10th, Bob Ports, the 13th, Tina Geyer and Betty Havdas, and anniversary, we have Anthony and Linda Adichek on the 7th. Are there any that we are missing? Okay, I think that's it. Our biblical focus this morning comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 28. Later, knowing that all was now completed, and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. Let's bow our heads and hearts for our call to worship.
found in the inside cover of your bulletin. How we read the light print, we read the dark print. These are scripture passages relating to thirst and water. Jesus said, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from him within him. Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be healed. Jesus said to the Samaritan woman at the well, whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life.
of the cup, we receive back from you forgiveness, and love, and peace, and joy. So may that be a special time as we end our service with Holy Communion today. And so Lord, we thank you for each person that's here. May you bless their lives. If they come here hurting today, may you be their portion. May you bring healing into whatever hurt they are experiencing. We pray for those silent requests that are, that are too hurtful to maybe even mention that you know each person and their need this morning. <coughs> and so Lord bless us today as we gather in your name and we continue our time of prayer as we pray the Lord's Prayer saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory.